What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron Garcia coming to you guys with another video. Uh, this was a requested video based off my last one, the Bloodline to Chicago's. A lot of people were asking about the Wings logo that I did and uh, they want to get more information about it. So I'm going to do a video for you guys just so you can see how you can do it yourself if you have this machine. Uh, we'll, today we'll be using the Cricut Explorer Air 2 and uh, we'll go into the design space now. So we'll just go ahead and click onto the pre-cut logos I already did. So you see we have all the uh, Air Jordan Jumpman logos and the Nike insignia and all that. Go ahead and get rid of all that because we're just focusing on the Wings logo today. That's what we have here. So for everybody who's asking about the measurements, this is it here. Go ahead and zoom in for you guys a little bit. So as you can see, we have 2.3 inches wide by 0.9 inches in height. So that's the measurements that I use. You could probably adjust it a little bit if you were have a bigger size or a smaller size, um, but this is generally the size that I go with and it fits pretty much perfect. Um, it, and maybe a little bit smaller on some shoes, like a smaller size. The one I did in the past video was a size 10. Um, so if you guys are want to adjust it to any kind of size of that, like I said, just go ahead and do a, a couple of centimeters and it should be straight. But this is the size that I use for that shoe, so that's what we're gonna be using today. So now, uh, once we have that measured up, we're going to go ahead into the top right corner and press the green button to make it. And then now it's on our mat. You probably can't see it there, but I clicked it and it's on our mat there. So have that. And then we're just going to go ahead and press continue. And it brings us to our cutting settings. Now I actually have it on vinyl right now. As you can see, it says vinyl, but that's not the setting that we want to use because this is an intricate very small detailed logo we want to go ahead and put our machine to a different setting and we're going to go ahead and put it on on custom now when it's in custom if you have any favorites it'll show all your favorites uh, on here which is these are all mine uh, but we're going to go ahead and use a setting called washi sheet and if you guys are interested in finding that just browse over to the to the right a little bit and it says uh, browse you press that Scroll all the way down, and then you have washi sheet. So I'll go ahead and select that. And you can also uh, adjust the uh, the pressure. You can make it more or less, or just default. Uh, I typically use the default with the uh, general fine point blade. If that's what you guys can do. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and load our mat and uh, I'll get back to you guys when we're doing that. All right guys, we got that all cut out. Probably can't see it, but pick it up a little bit. So we'll go ahead and weed that out and once we do that, we'll go ahead and apply it to the shoe. All right guys, we got the wings logo all weeded out now. As you can see, all the details are in there nice and crisp. We'll be using some uh, clear transfer tape now Applying it to the stencil, and then we we'll just apply it to the jump in or to the area. And then once we do that, we we'll just use a little bit of heat and just uh, you know peel off the transfer tape a little by little. And then once it's done again, we will add a little bit more heat and uh, press it in there a little bit, and it'll be nice and solid inside the material. As you can see, the measurements are pretty close to accurate as possible. So let's go ahead and get into that.
All right, guys, we have the finished product. As you can see, the Wings logo on there is nice and laid down flat. Once we add the heat and press it into it, the shoe, it looks nice and factory and nice and flush. You can rub your finger across it. It doesn't really have any bumps or anything. It's not peeling off. Uh, you do have to let it cure for about uh, a day or so before you try to wear it because it will still uh, be movable. But once it cures and it sets uh, after heating it for about 24 hours, it should be good to go. So that's the little tip for, I, for you guys. I, you could actually put your sealant on there because it is kind of glossy. If you wanted to make it a little bit more matte, you could put a sealant on there and let it dry for about 24 hours before you wear it. That's, uh, that's the, probably the best bet. But as you can see, the shoe is not as complete. And uh, we have a nice Wings logo on there, factory looking. And uh, it took about maybe 10 minutes to do. Uh, about 20 minutes total with the uh, cutting and everything, but not hard custom. Very, very simple and looks very nice. So, if you guys have any more tips or um, trick videos you guys want me to do, let me know and I'll be glad to do that for you guys. If you want to order any uh, custom shoes for me, my email will be in the description box. Um, anything else, let me, guys, let me know. Catch you guys on the next one. As always, rock what you like and not what's hype. You guys have a good one. Peace.